Hi there, welcome back to Jayademy. Today we are discussing about most trending technology, cloud computing. So agenda for today, why cloud and what is a cloud? What are the different service models in cloud? So deployment models in cloud also we'll see and what are who all are the cloud providers in the world and if you see uh, we can see cloud demo as well so why cloud so what are the disadvantages uh, if you are using our on premise so why we are moving to cloud so before cloud computing these are the disadvantages we have uh, suppose if you want to host a website few things we need to do so we need to buy a stack of servers and we need to monitor the servers which we are hosting and monitoring and maintaining the servers and uh, every traffic and more servers so let us discuss one by one so if you want to buy stack of servers the main factor is cost as i mentioned servers are very costly yes the servers are very costly if you want to purchase a server it is very costlier so it is also one of the problem here so under monitoring and maintenance so if anything goes wrong we need to do the troubleshooting troubleshooting the problems can be tedious and make conflict with your business goals if you focus on more on your infra issues then you can't focus on your business in this case either you need to do multitasking or you need to hire more people again end up with more money so heavy traffic as we all know traffic on a website never constant and storage as well assume we have an expectation of two petabytes of storage but if it increases again upscaling is an issue and assume at starting you are not consuming all your two petabytes of storage but you are paying as a upfront cost for two petabytes of storage and the most important one is data the amount of data generated now and then it will be a huge that is the reason cloud is very important in this scenarios if you are maintaining entire data center and infrastructure we need to analyze these problems troubleshooting the problems what we are facing on day-to-day -day basis and heavy traffic uneven businesses sometimes business will be huge and sometimes business is very low that time we need to up, uh, upscale the up or down the scale uh, downgrade the servers in these uneven businesses that time we need to pay uh, more cost to the servers very unstable work environment and over cost expenditure obviously cost we need to expand if your business is used then we need to expand a uh, more cost to hire the resource and to purchase the requirement whatever the equipments we need so uneven requirement of hardware yes as we discussed so if your business is uneven then these all are the problems we will get how can we overcome this issue so there is a solution for this so we will go with cloud so what is the cloud computing is all about so what is cloud so cloud computing is the on demand delivery of it resources over the internet with pay as you go pricing instead of buying and owning and maintaining physical data centers and servers you can access technology services such as computing power storage database network as needed basis from a cloud provider like uh, amazon aws uh, microsoft azure google cloud there are multiple cloud providers available in the market so let me explain the concept of cloud computing with a simple example suppose you own a software company that employs a hundred people who makes programs for your business and corporates creating complex programs quite understandably requires a lot of resources and machines including office space power network servers computers huge number of storage devices and gain cooling systems these all are required for this the solution is cloud computing cloud computing is a solution here in our case so by using this cloud computing you can access the information from anywhere through secure apis so here you just focus on your business than your infrastructure it 
so monthly online subscription as pay as per use model and it is very reliable so dynamically scale up the available resources instantly with on demand so multi tenant environment so cloud computing is best solution for our issues existing issues the best example for cloud computing is uh, on real time scenarios like all of you already used this service like uh, ola caps and uber these caps so what we are doing so whenever we want to go from one place to another place we are just booking a cab and we are paying the amount so here we are just utilizing the service by paying their service right so we are not owning the car we are not giving a uh, driver salary and we are not maintaining our car so we are just taking a service and paying them the same way here also we are using and one more example i can give like nowadays already we are using like utility like power and water and gas connection so this all are comes under pay as you go model so the same way we are approach same approach we are following in our computing what are the different type of deployment models available in cloud so we have four type of deployment models first one is public and private the hybrid and community so public service so it's a service provider makes resources such as applications storage available to the general public over the internet easy and inexpensive setup because hardware and applications and bandwidth cost are covered by the provider no waste resources because you pay what you use for so this under public cloud so coming to the private cloud it offers hosted services to a limited number of people behind firewall so it minimizes the security concerns it gives companies to direct control over the data coming to the hybrid or deployment model so this compute environment which uses a mix of on premise and private cloud and third party any public cloud it helps you leverage the best of both worlds two or more clouds that in covered or federated through technology coming to the community so infrastructure shared by the several organizations supporting specific community that have common concerns so let us discuss about what are the different service models offered by cloud computing so there are three models in cloud computing one is iaas p aas s aas so iaas infrastructure as a service and pas platform as a service and saas saas software as a service let us discuss in reverse way software as a service so software as a service the cloud provider leases the application or software which is owned by them and it is for their clients we will use software applications as such over the internet so just we will simply save our time management or investment in creating such commonly available applications so best example is gmail and salesforce salesforce provides crm customer relations manager and cloud infra to its client and they will charge for them it but the software is owned by the salesforce company only coming to the platform as a service so here we don't have any control over the underlying architecture including operating system and storage and servers etc so the cloud provider gives you the ability to customer to deploy the customer created apps using programming languages tools etc that are provided by a cloud provider and the final one is infrastructure as a service it provides a virtualized computing resources over the internet so rent processing storage memory network capacity etc no worries about underlying physical machine so that is the responsibility of the cloud service provider so as we discussed all the three models so here we are 
having the few responsibility of ours and vendor is managed few areas so if you see the infrastructure as a service so our responsibility is maximum we are taking care of our data and application runtime middleware and operating system if you see the platform as a service we don't have any control on these areas we have only control on our data and application if you see in software as a service we have only our control on data so we are just using as a service so who is providing these cloud services who is the cloud provider so amazon web services google cloud microsoft azure alibaba cloud ibm cloud oracle oci salesforce these are the leading cloud service providers in the world apart from that we have rackspace pmv etc so what is the best cloud so as of july 2020 according to the gartner magic quadrant for cloud infrastructure as a service aws is the leader all the way as a leader in its ability to execute but microsoft azure leads as a visionary google is third in the race followed by oracle alibaba and ibm clouds so according to me microsoft azure and aws are neck to neck in the race of cloud super me both azure and aws offers the product services and cost however google and ibm other clouds are getting better each day if i were to choose a cloud provider for my business it would have to be azure or aws the reason is obvious both companies are way ahead in the race you cannot go wrong with either of this most large enterprises uses multiple clouds one of the famous use case in the industry is use aws for file storage and messaging azure for devops database and developer tools and google's cloud for documents and emails one size does not fit all so you figure out out what you needs are and which cloud fits for your best from these what are the benefits of cloud so it is very agile and elasticity deploy globally on minutes and cost saving agility cloud gives you the broad range of technologies so you can innovate faster so um build nearly anything you can imagine coming to elasticity with cloud you don't have to over provision resources upfront to peak levels of business activity in the future instead you provision the amount of resources that you actually need you can scale the resources up or down instantly by grow or shrink capacity deploy globally on minutes you can expand to new geographic regions and deploy globally in matter of minutes so for example aws has infra across the world so you can deploy the application needed to the multiple locations in their aws regions in a few clicks closer to the proximity to the where your users are exist to reduce the latency so cost saving so cost saving there are lot of offerings uh, is there in aws services so you can choose your cost savings without uh, provisioning over provisioning or upfront cost this and all we can get by using aws in the same way we will get from the other cloud providers as well this is one of the example cloud demo so ready to get started with aws so i'll post getting started with aws in my next video i hope that this guide helps you in building your career with cloud if you have any doubt or unable to understand any concept feel free to buzz me on my linkedin description you can buzz me on linkedin a link provided in the description in or even you can let me know in comments too so thank you again thanks for watching So if you are still not subscribed my uh, e-learning platform please do subscribe and you will get notified when i update my new and first aws introductory video in upcoming week thank you again